Hey Cancer, it's a hard stars with the Loom Astrology and Tarot doing your October 2020 tarot reading. Sorry, I didn't even get started yet. Um, I wanted to tell you this type of reading can be used for any situation. Um, it could be an overall for you and your energy, depending upon what I get up, pick up, or a love relationship um, applying to a person of interest or anybody that you would, anybody that is a person of interest to you, all right? So let's take out the, uh, check out the general energy. Please keep in mind they're general. They won't resonate with all of you. And check out your rising or your moon sign if this doesn't resonate with you. All right, what's going on with cancer in October, the first two weeks? Whoa, Cancer, somebody else just got this, and I believe it's Taurus. So if you're involved with the Taurus, there is a lot going on here. This is the element of fire, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Somebody's got a fire they got to put out, okay? And this very well could be you, Cancer, uh, in the first two weeks of October. You guys are working hard, hustling, trying to get a lot done. There may be a lot on your plate because Saturn does go direct at the end of this month, and Saturn is all about hard work and sudden fires and things you gotta put out in order to get things moving forward. Um, but I feel like the first two weeks of October, it's gonna be a very busy time period where there may be some fires that you need to put out, or if this is involving your person of interest, your person of interest has a lot going on, okay? They got a lot going on and they may be putting out some fires themselves. Tell me about cancer. A lot of you are dealing with somebody difficult too, just in general, I'm gonna tell you. Somebody difficult who's been, you know, really making you work for something here. Could be at your work. All right, we got the deer, and this is the element of earth, okay? So watch out for being blindsided, okay? Watch out for being, um, keep your, your ears and your eyes open um, I do feel like there's going to be something that's going to catch you like a deer in headlights. You're going to be like, what? And I do feel like this particular reading for you guys, there's something that's going to pop up that's going to cause your immediate attention and you're going to be capped. You're going to be stuck in a deer in headlights when it comes. Um, some of you may be shocked about something that occurs as a result. Okay. But I do feel like in a love relationship, a lot of you are enamored with somebody that you just, they captivate you, but they're going through some stuff here that maybe they're not being as responsive to you, or there's a difficult situation that is occurring here. Um, let me go ahead and get some further information here. We got fire and earth. So I do feel like you guys are, you know, there may be something that's a little shocking to you that occurs in the first two weeks of October. Things are unfolding here in this connection or in this situation. Uh, but I feel like you guys are focused on your money right now. You really want to ground yourself and you're, and you're trying to really be uh, focused on what matters. But there's a situation that is unfolding for you guys, okay? And you may want to just temporarily withdraw. You may want to temporarily withdraw or just nurture yourself, take care of yourself. Things are unfolding. I do feel like something is going to pop up that's going to need your attention. And a lot of you are going to be working really hard the first couple of weeks of October. Oops. Cancer. Yeah, we got half the footer, which is about being stable, setting down firm stability, being focused on stability. Being stable is going to be a big thing going on. And I do feel like regardless if this fire ant person, this fire sign person is a person that you're involved with or your person of interest, things are unfolding with them and they're trying to get grounded, okay? But I feel like a lot of you are actually going to be trying to get grounded as well and that there's some things that are going to pop up that are going to make you have to hustle and bustle. 
and we got himself, which basically um, enhances the reading and also tells me that a lot of you are going to be really focused on yourself. Focus on yourself, getting your stuff together, working hard. Things are unfolding. You may be needing some quiet time. Yeah, because we got Epona's wild daughter. This is the nightmare card. This is a very stressful situation, Cancers. I'm so sorry to tell you about this. I'm feeling like something has the potential to occur for some of you that may be quite dramatic or may be stressed out and it's gonna catch you like this where you're just gonna be like, what? Okay, but if you work hard quickly through it or you put your efforts into it and you work on being grounded and, uh, you know, find your inner strength here with himself. You guys have the power and the strength and the courage to work things through. Let's see what the outcome is going to be on the situation. What is the outcome with the situation? All right. So we got lease of the shadows and this is about uncovering the shadow in other people uncovering the shadow like this is a a card that shows you the bad in others okay so that way you can know who to disconnect with who to move on from who to let go of so uncovering secrets of things that are lay hidden okay seeing the truth in other people seeing the truth in your relationships seeing the truth in a situation wow cancer It looks like there could be something rather dramatic happening for you guys that may cause you to really start, you know, that, that can cause you some concern. But I'm going to tell you, uncovering the shadow in other people's situations and things is to protect you. So that way you no longer have to be the fool or, or you know, fooled. This way you can see what it is and then you're able to move on or you're able to let go or get out of the situation. So being able to see that is a very positive thing. A very positive thing. What advice do we have? We got breach. And this is about breaking out of it, overcoming it, literally overcoming it okay and then on the bottom of that we got ebb and flow so you're being advised to just go with the flow on this situation like don't take it personal pick your battles wisely um there may be a situation like i said that pops up that's going to need your immediate attention and you're going to be like on fire to fix it and to deal with it but you're uncovering somebody here that you're dealing with in the first two weeks of october is is a nightmare to deal with. They've been, they're just like, uh, you're just, you're just really just done with the situation and you're seeing it for what it is. And I feel like you guys are just going to let go of it and just, and things are going to get better. Just, uh, just let it go. Somebody's crossing the line here with you, cancer. Okay. Somebody is crossing the line. Take it how it resonates. Whether this is a person of interest, a situation in your life, a client, a friend, a family member, you know, somebody's crossing the line. Just, let go of it, okay? Because they've been causing you some nightmares, some stay up late night stuff, whatever it is, but you're seeing it for what it is and you're getting personal power as a result of it, okay? This is about overcoming any obstacle. This is the power to do so. This is the card that says you have the power to overcome everything and focus on what matters and staying grounded and stable, okay? Everything is going to work out, Cancer. This is just a heads up of this to come. But somebody, it looks like there's going to be a situation that's going to pop up that's going to leave you feeling like this. What? And you know what? That happens. It happens often. And when it does happen, um, remember to just not take it personal, to let it go. Whoever this person is that's crossing the line, whoever it is that's been causing you nightmares, you're seeing it for what it is. And that's a good thing, okay? And overall... Let me get you, um, let me get you an Oracle card because of the situation. I'm sorry to tell you guys this, but you know, it happens to us all. So don't feel like this is personal. 
this is just a situation. You guys do have Saturn and Pluto in your partnership house. So this is just showing you and uncovering you, uncovering the truth of the situation so you know how to deal with it, okay? And just take some time out and just rest and let it go. Go with the flow. Better things are to come. Cancer. Wow. How perfect is that? This is your card, Cancer. Child of the moon. And it says, forgiveness transcending the ego. So just let things go in the first two weeks of October. If you happen to come across this, if this happens to be your reading, or if you've already been through this, know that the light is at the end of the tunnel. Things are going to get better. Things are going to move forward. It's all in how you handle these situations. And that's what this is. These readings are helpful with is so that way you can be prepared for it should it happen. Okay. Um, but I do see you finding your inner strength or inner power and moving things positively in your way. That's what this card is. This card is powerful. It's all about you. You have everything it takes to change a situation or to, to how you handle it or how you respond to it. All right, you guys, I'm sorry. These are the cards that came out for you, but you can handle it. You guys are, you guys are a cardinal sign. So you guys have the power within you to handle any situation. But if you should get shocked like this, let it go. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. You know, go with the flow. It's better than dealing with this nightmare. I can tell you that much. Okay. So some of you are dealing with somebody very difficult, but you're going to overcome it and things are going to work out in your favor. I'm going to do an overall for you guys too. So just check out that. This is a particular situation. Okay. This is a situational reading where it picks up a particular situation, but I am going to do an overall for you guys as well, which will tell you what you have to come and stuff for the whole month of October. So thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like a personal reading regarding your own situation, um, please visit my site at www.alumastrology.com.